Now, a lot of people don't understand just how dangerous the situation is right now. This, who knows, 30 years, maybe, maybe in 30 years it might bounce back. I'm not just going to tell you about the chemicals in the air. Everybody, we're not even going to mess with that. We're not even going to fuck with it. We already realized how dangerous that is. That's why my kids are out of here, and that's why I'm in the process of packing and leaving. But I'm also in the process of packing and leaving for another reason. Most people don't study hurricanes because they live nowhere near where a hurricane hits. Our marine biologists that are out here working for BP have said to some of our fishermen that the transducer on the bottom of the boat, including things that they've dropped down into these plumes, are showing seven degrees higher than normal golf temperatures for this time of year. Two degrees is a problem. Seven degrees is a serious, serious problem. It's like adding fuel to the fire, not to mention that the high pressure system will stall the hurricane in the gulf, which will also shut down the response, and she will build. Now that means any storm this time of year that would have normally been a moderate storm that we could handle is not going to be so moderate. Katrina picked up debris and mud and brought it all the way up the eastern seaboard. We're already seeing acid rain all the way up to North Carolina killing crops. If a hurricane comes through here, and it will, not if, when, when, just like if, it, if it's going to flood in Plaquemines, <laughs> if, when, it's going to pick up oil, it's going to pick up every chemical out there, including the dispersant, and it is going to dump it across the entire eastern seaboard. No one's saying this to anybody. This, for me, is extremely alarming. We have professionals that we trust to do the right thing. We've already heard about the massive evacuations and the possibilities of the FEMA camps. Now, we're going to even talk about worst case scenario. All of the crystals and everything that had built up and was holding the pipe stable, they shot all that out of it. They sandblasted it. The inside pipe almost is completely gone. Once this pipe goes, what do you think is going to happen? Once an implosion happens, a volcanic eruption happens. Once a volcanic eruption happens, you have, worst case scenario, a 20 to 80 foot wall of water. 20 foot here, 80 foot by the time it hits Florida, 3 to 500 miles per hour. We're talking about wiping the entire state of Florida off the map. No one's talking about this, and I shouldn't be. I think it's going to happen within the next 60 days. What they've done, they can't fix. Say they do decide to bomb it. I spoke with a biochemist night before last on the phone for four hours. From what she tells me, they can't close this with just any bomb. If they nuke it, the 20-mile crack's not going to be one nuke. It's going to be up to six going to have a fallout that's going to cover all the way up to the borders of the top of Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, and Louisiana. And a hurricane comes up into the Gulf, not only picking up oil and dispersant, but radioactive waste. Where is it going to dump? How many people? How many lives? I don't even want to live in this country right now. I really don't. 